all know that Ramadan is on the corner and we're all excited for the Ramadan blessings. But we need to know about Ramadan. So in this video, I will explain what is Ramadan, what is Suhoor and Iftar, what are the duas for Suhoor and Iftar, how and when should we fast, what are the acts we should avoid and do while fasting, and what happens to our body when we fast. But before that, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. So let's begin! Facts about Ramadan When the month of Ramadan arrives, the door of mercy are opened. Fasting is one of the five pillars of Islam. Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. Date of Ramadan changes with the lunar calendar every year. That's why we find Ramadan in different month every year. Each year for 30 days, about 1.9 billion Muslims fast during the month of Ramadan. During fasting, the followers of Islam abstain from food and drink each day from sunrise to sunset. What is Sahur? Before the fast begins each day at dawn, Muslims will have an early morning meal called Sahur. What is Iftar? Right at sunset, the fast is broken with a meal called iftar. This usually starts with dates and water. It is sunnah to recite the dua for fasting and breaking fast. For sahur dua, the translation is, I intend to keep the fast for tomorrow in the month of Ramadan. For iftar dua, the translation is, O oh Allah, I fasted for you and I believe in you and I put my trust in you and I break my fast with your sustenance. Muslims who can fast should abstain from smoking, eating, drinking and some other conditions mentioned in the Quran. Those who are exempt from fasting includes children, ill people, elderly people, travelers, and a few other categories. Those who cannot fast can substitute their fasting by feeding a poor person or substitute their fast after Ramadan on other days. Ramadan is the time to feel more motivated to give charity and help those who are in need because it is believed that in Ramadan the rewards for charity and generosity are multiplied. Ramadan is the right time to feel for the poor people who are fasting day and night without a choice. It is the time to feel the real hunger. Therefore, we should not take food and water for granted. Ramadan is the time to focus on self-improvement. So the spiritual benefits of fasting are gaining taqwa, drawing closer to Allah, acquiring patience, striving for ihsan, refining manners, being more charitable, learning discipline, and sensing unity of Muslims. Along with the spiritual benefits of fasting, there are many health benefits of fasting, which includes it prevents obesity, heart diseases, high cholesterol, and it improves mental health and much more. 
The festival of Eid marks the end of Ramadan. After Ramadan is over, Muslims have the Eid al-Fitr or festival of breaking fast where people come together to eat, enjoy family and friends and exchange gifts. Bye.